Welcome to the chapter on material science. Understanding the properties and applications of various materials is essential for mechanical engineers. In this chapter, we will explore the properties of materials, including metals, polymers, ceramics, and composites. We will also discuss examples and applications of each type of material. Materials have a variety of properties that determine their suitability for different applications. These properties can be broadly classified into mechanical, thermal, electrical, optical, and chemical properties. Mechanical properties include strength, ductility, hardness, toughness, and fatigue resistance. Strength is the ability of a material to withstand an applied load without failure, measured in terms of stress, which is force per unit area, denoted by sigma equals F divided by A. Thermal properties include thermal conductivity, thermal expansion, and specific heat. Thermal conductivity, denoted by K, is the ability of a material to conduct heat. Thermal expansion, quantified by the coefficient of thermal expansion alpha, is the tendency of a material to change in volume in response to a change in temperature. Specific heat, denoted by C, is the amount of heat required to change the temperature of a unit mass of a material by one degree Celsius. Metals are materials that are typically hard, shiny, malleable, fusible, and ductile, with good electrical and thermal conductivity. Examples include iron, aluminum, copper, and titanium. Metals can withstand high loads, are good conductors of heat and electricity, and some, like stainless steel and aluminum, have good corrosion resistance. Aluminum is widely used in the aerospace and automotive industries due to its high strength to weight ratio and excellent corrosion resistance. The density of aluminum is approximately 2.7 grams per cubic centimeter, and its thermal conductivity is about 237 watts per meter Kelvin. Polymers are large molecules composed of repeating structural units called monomers. They can be natural, like rubber and cellulose, or synthetic, like polyethylene and nylon. Polymers are generally lighter than metals and ceramics, have low thermal and electrical conductivity, and can be easily molded into various shapes with good elasticity. Polyethylene is one of the most common polymers used in products ranging from plastic bags to bulletproof vests. It has a density of approximately 0.95 grams per cubic centimeter and is known for its toughness and chemical resistance. Ceramics are non-metallic, inorganic materials that are typically hard and brittle. Examples include alumina, silicon carbide, and zirconia. Ceramics have high hardness and wear resistance, high melting points, and low electrical and thermal conductivity, making them suitable for applications requiring high durability and insulation. Silicon carbide is used in high temperature applications and as an abrasive material. It has a high melting point of about 2730 degrees Celsius and excellent thermal conductivity of approximately 120 watts per meter Kelvin. Composites are materials made from two or more constituent materials with significantly different physical or chemical properties. The constituents remain separate and distinct within the finished structure. Composites can be designed to be stronger and lighter than traditional materials have tailored properties to meet specific requirements and are resistant to corrosion. Carbon fiber reinforced polymer, or CFRP, is widely used in aerospace, automotive, and sports equipment due to its high strength and low weight. The density of CFRP is approximately 1.6 grams per cubic centimeter, and it has a tensile strength of about 500 megapascals. Understanding these materials and their properties is essential for mechanical engineers to make informed decisions in the design and manufacturing processes. Each material has its unique advantages and limitations, and the choice of material can significantly impact the performance and durability of the final product. Thank you for watching this chapter on material science. We hope you now have a better understanding of the properties and applications of various materials. Stay tuned for more chapters on mechanical engineering topics.